Put balloons in your face, bud. Um, welcome, everyone. Um, uh, you know, I'm really glad that with all that's going on, uh, we're still able to celebrate our student athletes here to a spe in a special way, obviously, to uh, for a well-deserved young man, uh, and most importantly, uh, well-earned. Uh, thank you to our administration, our support staff, for putting this all together. Um, you know, there's a lot of setup that goes into it, uh, especially when there's AP exams getting ready to roll in. We've got a bunch of desks. So, uh, what an incredible honor, um, you know, <laughs> <laughs> Just an incredible honor to recognize Callaway uh, for his commitment to play at Furman. Um, here's the line where it says, bear with me, but I thought I would joke a little later. Um, you know, the price of anything is the amount of life uh, you're willing to exchange for it. And I use this quote a lot. Uh, and so I think often, I use it often, but there's no better example than this guy right here next to me. Um, you know, I, I had some, some before and after pics. Um, well, they were this, his headshots from his sophomore, junior, uh, senior year that uh, Mr. Knuckles sent me. I couldn't print them off, but uh, we'll, we'll show those later. I didn't want to embarrass you too much. Uh, but I, I was just curious to really go back and, and look at what his sophomore headshot looked like, what his senior headshot looked like, um, and, uh, and obviously what he looks like right now. Um, but you can probably picture those visual transformations, obviously, what I'm talking about. Um, but what comes with the visual transformation uh, is not only the physical stuff, but to me, it's the mental and emotional transformation. If we look at the current state of Callaway's interest uh, and thought process now from where it was three years ago, he is currently talking about 1970s, 80s, 90s bodybuilders with my father out of track practice. Um, and I don't know mom and dad if that was kind of in his interest when he was a freshman in high school. But that's all he can get right now. And uh, <laughs> I know it makes him I'm really happy. Um, but Calvin took an interest <clears throat> in the weight room and training and sparked a fire that I think most certainly has changed his life forever. Uh, you know, the weight room <clears throat> is not the most comfortable place in the world, and rightly so. It challenges every person with physical strain. Uh, mental toughness and uh, emotional frustration, which him and I had many multiple uh, conversations uh, over the phone or in person. But what you see here today is a product of conquering all those things. Uh, and the work is still ongoing, which I believe is uh, what is still igniting his fire. But when he, when he transferred this work to the football field, obviously what we're here for today, uh, there was the obvious physical improvements. Uh, but what I noticed most was his confidence. And I could not be more proud of the progress he made on the field, devoting himself to the two new positions and providing, uh, you know, or proving that he could play at the next level. And he is just getting started. Your work ethic will always keep you, your ceiling high, Callaway. Um, I know there's multiple coaches in here, uh, teachers that have, that have seen this growth uh, on a daily basis, but uh, it's really been an honor to be a part of it. Um, <clears throat> I can't wait to see you take that next step, Cal. Thanks for allowing me to be a part of the journey. Um, and it's what you can see right here, what matters too is, you know, there's a lot of people you've affected on this team. Okay, and they look up to you and see your hard work. Congratulations to the Tierney family. Um, you know, it's been, it's been a fun ride. I know it's been a strange ride. And, the struggles of high school conversations and he doesn't talk to me, but he talks to you, you know, it's all, it's all natural, but uh, I think we've all landed in a great place. And uh, I think I can speak on everybody's behalf. We're, we're extremely excited for you. Congrats, Cal. So <clears throat> from here, Cal, we just want to, you know, obviously there's plenty of pictures to be taken. Uh, we want you to have a chance to say a little something. Um, I'm not going to tell you what to say. It's all you. You can say as little as you want. You can say as much as you want. It's your day. Um, from there, um, love, you know, stay around. Teammates, pictures, uh, ask you guys to have your mask on when you're up here. 
uh, and then family pictures, and we'll kind of go from there. Uh, but I want to have you have the floor to, uh, to speak a little bit. Okay. Um, I guess, firstly, I'd, I'd like to thank my parents and my family. Um, it takes a lot to put up with the amount of food and <laughs> I have to eat. Um, and, I mean, they cook probably three, four meals a day on top of what I have during the school day. So it wouldn't have been possible um, to do what I'm doing without constant food that you guys cook for me. Um, and that also goes with what Coach was mentioning. Um, some of the, the cheesy things like cutting the sleeves off a lot of shirts and sweatshirts might be a little hard to understand. Um, so I just, I thank you for that, I appreciate it. Uh, secondly, the, the coaches and the training staff over the years have been great, uh, specifically Coach Whitman, um, Coach Bob Whitman, Coach Nicoletti, Coach Hoffman, Coach Smith, um, and you know, the training staff, Mike, Steph, and Miss Herb um, have all really helped me out a lot. And uh, specifically, like Coach was mentioning, he's really been like kind of an older brother to me over the past four years. I just see him every day and I can always trust him with something uh, that's on my mind. Uh, and finally, my teammates, you know, everyone in this room is, you know, my closest friend and you guys have been a part of my life through Country Day for the past 12, 13 years. And a lot of these guys have played with since fifth grade. So, you know, I just really appreciate everything. Uh, I wouldn't trade it for the world. Um, you know, even though I'm joining another family in uh, Greenville, you know, I'll always be a buck and I'll always hold you guys to a high regard. So I think we're going to sign and then like a fake sign smile, right? Mm -hmm. <coughs> Lexus, you, can kind of you can go ahead and take your mask off. If you just want to sign and then give me a smile. Okay.